I'm going to be giving myself a 100 days to complete my goals in Minecraft. That time, I got reincarnated as a slime, as Veldora, <laughs> going from a dragon to a human. Let's begin with day one. I spawned in a village, but I didn't get to explore it since this book here is basically how you reincarnate in this mod. And when it came to choosing what like race I wanted to be, I chose the lizard man since it was the closest thing to a dragon I could find. And when I spawned back, I was in this like cave looking thing. And this time I was a dragon since Veldora is a dragon. What was cool about being a dragon is that I've already unlocked the ability to fly basically since obviously I have these massive wings and flying was so satisfying. It sounded cool. I felt like I was in like a movie. It was so sick. It just felt so cool. And another thing about being a dragon is that you can just mine wood so quick. It's like having like, like tools already, even though I don't have any. So it was really satisfying just not needing anything to get started. I ended up turning off the shaders since my dragon looked way brighter than it looked. And I mean, I'm just going to keep this for a bit since it looks so much cooler in my opinion. I eventually came across Hinata actually. And I, I know I cannot take Hinata at this point in time. So I just flew away until I lost her because I would have died 100%. I then came across a dragon, which I wasn't sure how strong they'd be since I'm also a dragon. Dragon, but they, they they definitely pack a punch. Like I, I could not fight this dragon whatsoever. I flew around for a bit and came across the Sakura biome and basically all I did here was just get some pink wood since it's cool. Got some bamboo as well, but I didn't think I ever used it. Another thing about being a dragon, raw food does a lot of like health. It is so it's so useful being a dragon. It's unbelievably useful. So food was not a problem at this point in time. And exploration was so easy since the flight ability or just having wings, you go so quick. Though as I was flying around, I actually got chased by another dragon, which I, it was, was was terrifying. Don't, don't get me wrong, but it was actually really, really cool. I don't think I've ever been chased by a dragon as a dragon in Minecraft. It was definitely a fun for me, but there was this one move I did not see coming. <laughs> But before we get back into the server, I want to thank Salad for sponsoring today's video. Salad is a passive income app which basically lets you earn rewards by doing absolutely nothing via crypto mining and don't worry, it's completely safe. These rewards range from Discord Nitro, games, gifts, and so many other things that I'd be here for ages. And bro, I know you, you probably spend way too much money on like body pillows and manga, so come on, you could do with this. If you want to earn these twofold, download, make an account, and enter my promo code Marcus to get double your earnings. Anywho, with that said, thanks again to Silas for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back to some slime. Anywho, when I was killing this like zombie, I realized that I shot this weird arrow thing, which I had no idea what it was. And then after some walking around, I got like jumped by this, I think it's called like a sissy maybe. And um, it was a bit freaky. I got away from the sissy and decided I'd just like check the usurper move I got. I didn't exactly remember what it was at the time. Basically just robs health from anything I right click. And then I got back to getting some wood since I had to make the best of just needing no tools as, for as long as I could. And it was extremely satisfying. I think it was just like a dinosaur maybe. I didn't fight it. I kind of just flew away, but it's there at least. And then after that, I found a Cyclops and best believe I did not fight this thing. I tried to rob its stuff. But the Cyclops wasn't very happy about it, so it chased me around a bit. But I had a bright idea. Since I have one thing, the Cyclops doesn't. Wings. So I broke his ankles, flew back in, and it was kind of a waste of time. Since there was absolutely nothing inside of him. But then another plus side to being a dragon is that I don't even need a crafting table. I can craft everything in my inventory. It's insane how useful it is being a dragon. So I just made swords, tools, and whatnot. I started fighting all these mobs. And I don't know why this happened, but I got black lightning from Creeper without having Predator. I'm not sure how that works, if you're allowed to do that, but I mean, I guess I just broke the rules. I, I mean, I am Veldora. And black lightning is one of my favorite moves since it just like strikes just lightning. And I, it's just it's just cool overall. As night fell, I just decided I'd just like camp in a cave since it's kind of just what Veldora does, you know? I just I stayed here the entire night and I couldn't I couldn't get out because my head's way too big So for breakfast on this day I decided I'd just massacre a bunch of sheep and cows since you know a dragon's got to eat I have a massive body after all and um Yeah, yeah, it's fair to say I massacred a lot of people. I came across this pillager tower as well Um, there was nothing too great inside of it There was like dragon dust inside of the chest which I didn't really have a use for but I did realize that my XP bar was red So I think this was like the measurement for my abilities at the dragon. I tested it and I think I was right. I lost one bar for shooting an arrow, but I didn't really use it too much since the I tested it on a pig, but it proved to be not very strong like, at all. I even tried like some dragon breath thingy on a pillager and he kind of just shrugged it off. So I, I don't really know what was going on, but the lightning move was still beyond useful and just one of the coolest moves in, in this mod in my opinion, but you know, each of their own. Though I'm guessing that you actually do have to like level up the moves that I tried earlier since there's like this whole leveling system, but this mod doesn't really like 
support change from dragon to human to dragon to human etc so i didn't really get the chance to do so so i ended up just killing pillagers instead and then i came across this other worlder and um he was pretty strong i won't lie but upon killing him i made it like a rule that i mean i killed a human so i decided that i can become a human and here we are. There were major drawbacks to being a human, like my health was basically cut in half. I had to use human tools. I had to eat cooked food. It was absolutely horrible, but I looked cool. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. I have a long cape, so he's a real winner. Started killing pigs and whatnot and chickens. And this is the part where I realized that I can't eat raw food anymore. And I was close to heartbroken. So though, since I'm technically a lizard man, that means I have like a touch, tons of water related perks, like water breathing speed two and dolphins grace. I then decided I'd finally get some stone and I found it kind of funny since I only just got stone age. But I did have a bright idea, and that was to use black lightning on cows and whatnot to get cooked food. And it kind of worked. Sometimes it burnt the food, but the majority of the time it gave me like cooked beef, which I couldn't complain about, so happy days. I then had to make a crafting table, then I made some stone tools. And I guess, I mean, it's progress. It's my first upgrade, so I can't really complain too much. I came across this, like, I think it's a vampire bat, maybe? Or a bat of some sort. It didn't give me anything. But I ended up just killing mobs the rest of the night. I then typed in slash predation list, and if you do this, you can, like, see, basically, if you kill a mob, you can see what you'll get for that kill, I guess. And these four skills had my had my interest. And these were, like, water-related skills. So I had to take down a dolphin, a guardian, drowned, and then an elder guardian. I also took on this, like, I think it's a night spider, and it was incredibly strong. Too strong, in fact. I nearly died. But luckily, Black Lightning kind of just saved the day, since I could do damage from afar, and then I cut it off with one final blow. I had to make a furnace to cook all my food and whatnot, and it was so just, like, annoying. I, I miss eating just raw food, man. It was, it was a blessing I didn't even realize. I also made some armor, but because I wanted to look cool, I have this mod installed so I can just hide all the armor I wear. Also, there was this, like, flying horse. I forgot what it's called. Maybe, like, a hippogriff, maybe. Maybe it's a... I, I don't know. But it just, it just like, kind of died. So, yeah. So I left to see you catching me lacking, and I actually came across a village, which wasn't too bad, and this chicken uh, hiding. So, when I got to the village, I thought it looked quite nice. Nothing could go wrong here. <coughs> yeah, I was wrong. Um, turns out a dragon also lives here, so it's their next door neighbor. But the Iron Golem, to be fair, was going at it. So yeah, there was a problem. Um, I decided I'd, 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 um, uh, there really isn't much I can do at this point. I'm extremely weak. I tried to, like, rob where it was, like, where it sleeps and whatnot, and, um, <laughs> I'm only messing with the bed, so. I tried to like lightning strike it and get away, but um, yeah, no, I didn't have the best of luck. I ended up just like going to bed. I checked it out the next morning and I realized it just wasn't for me, so I just left. I came across the spirit guardian tree, but again, just too weak. Found a village, made some more armor, hid that armor, and was good to go. Found this iron golem as well. Um, this one's weird. This iron golem's not, not your, your, your normal iron golem. It likes to dance quite a lot. It spins quite a lot as well. And I, I felt bad killing it. I just felt myself getting into a bit of a groove with him. Um, but he had to go. He had to go. So, yeah, I felt I just feel bad though. So I committed a murder. Realized I couldn't get any anything from the dolphin. So I had to kill this slime. But normal tools don't work. So I had to go to the mines to get like diamonds and whatnot to be able to mine certain magic ores, etc. And the session was quite long, but it wasn't without its merits. I can't really complain about it. And um, I also did this. This was probably one of my highlights of my life. So I continued mining, got some more diamonds, more magic ores and whatnot, and then I headed to the surface, and I chose this house here. It looked kind of nice, so I, you know, Veldora's house is this one. It needed some renovations though, so I broke some stuff, then I placed some stuff, and um, I was liking this place. I had a triple bed going. Uh, I was liking it. I decided to make some diamond armor, and um, I don't know if you read like the, the description for the Lizardman thingy. Uh, can't wear diamond armor, so... um. That was kind of a waste, so yeah, I do. But I did find a cat though, so all's well that ends well, if that's even the right thing to say. But it didn't want to be here, but I don't care because it's going to be here, and it was an absolute pain to catch, but I got it in the end. So we have a cat now, it's not named yet, but we have a cat. I ended up having just to set up for iron armor, so was I crying inside? No. I went back to the mine to try and like reimburse all the diamonds that I may have wasted, 
and headed back. And I made a blast furnace. I thought this would be way more efficient for making magic ore and you know magic ingots and whatnot. Then I met Horace and I guess his friend Jonel. And um, these two are definitely my favorite in the village. They have a bit of a staring problem though. So I made some magic steel and with that magic steel, I made a sword. So I think I was ready to fight some slimes, but then I got jumped by um by a ghost and I didn't nearly disconnect. Um, But looking around, there was no ghost. But in the distance, however, there's definitely a graveyard with ghosts nearby, which was kind of annoying since I don't get I get scared kind of easily. Turns out though you can't make armor with magic steel, but you can make tools. I think to go fight these ghosts, and luckily for me, lightning does work on these guys. So it wasn't gonna be too much of a problem. Just the scare factor was probably gonna get me. But thankfully they are weak, so I could I can I can just kill them, but I, my, my heart will not recover. I headed back to the village after taking care of the ghost, and then I hit the sheets in my triple bunk bed. When I woke up, I said hey to Horace and headed on outside. I found these two slimes and to my surprise, the sword wasn't working. So I was kind of confused as to why. I hit the sheets again after doing a bit of research and I had to make this anvil, more importantly, a reinforced anvil. So I plopped it down and Jono took immediate interest in it, had a good look at it and I was like, yeah, check this out. When I tried to use it though, the condition to use it was not met apparently. So I was kind of upset. Though to make it work, all you need to do is have lava, a smithing table, the reinforced anvil and a grindstone on top of that so it looked like something something like this and then you can use it however to make demon steel you need crying obsidian so luckily i knew like where um a abandoned portal was so i could mine that but it did take an absolutely awful amount of time eventually i got about four and then i headed back got my face slammed by a door and then i made some demon steel and with this i was hoping that i could make a sword of it but it turns out you couldn't make swords with them but don't worry i'm just stupid to make a sword out of these it's kind of like making a diamond sword into netherite that's kind of how it works and i made a demon steel sword but it kind of glitched and i had two swords i didn't notice at the time but it didn't even delete itself either i just now had two demon steel swords so i mean i wasn't complaining maybe glitched but i didn't cheat so happy days and thankfully these swords do work against slimes but slimes do so much damage they need to be careful anyway and then upon killing these slimes I got the skill Predator, so can't really complain. This is a very important skill. When I got back to the village, I saw these like, ki like king people, maybe like knights and whatnot. I had a quick you know, little talk to them and saw this absolutely atrocious trade and then they just disappeared. So I said goodnight to my cat and then I hit the triple bed bank bed, bed, bed. When I woke up, I remembered I could like name things because of the mod I'm using, but I couldn't think of a name yet. But I thought of one because I'm so great with names. I named it Neko. Don't worry about how I named it. But what I didn't know is that when you name like a vanilla animal, that health doubles, I think. So now Neko had 20 health, meaning Neko wouldn't die as often or at all, I hope. I went outside to go look for Horace, which I just couldn't find him anywhere. So I was kind of kind of worried. I came across this like religious place, I'd assume, maybe like a church. But Freeman was not happy that I was rummaging through his stuff. So I nonchalantly put everything back and I headed out the, uh, the old church. Turns out Horace was in my house without any permission. So that was kind of weird, but it was fine then because I wanted to go exploring, so Horace would look after Neko for me. I found another dolphin since I wanted to get hydraulic propulsion, but I got chased down by a sissy. But luckily, lightning seems pretty effective, so that was good. Once I killed a dolphin, I got propulsion, which means I can swim so quick, and it's one again one of my favorite skills. And this dolphin could keep up somehow, which I was actually kind of impressed about. Some monster dolphin this guy is. I just saw this like flying white rubik's cube or something i don't know it was apparently it's a one-eyed owl i don't know what they're used for but it's a thing i also found this armosaurus which drops one of my favorite skills in the mod again i have a lot of favorites but body armor which like gives you these huge massive looking arms as well as armor points and whatnot and it's so cool it's look it's so well made and they look kind of funny from a uh, first person as well I, I i mean i think anyway but after a bit of running around i came across this sea serpent um did not want to deal with that I then walked across a swamp and I found these slimes and they basically dropped self regeneration which meant I could I think generate half a heart every second which was kind of legendary. And then soon after I found a lizardman like swamp area and then these three birds which absolutely sprayed the hell out of me so I, was I wasn't terrified. But luckily I could take him down and if any tried to run away I just smited the hell out of them and it felt kind of cool actually. But don't get me wrong I'm a nice guy so I put out the fire and whatnot so nothing would burn down in the forest and I even like helped dewater log. The, uh, the old little camp lizard thingy. I may have checked to see if I had to kill a lizardman, but we don't have to say anything about that. And for fun, I named one of the uh, lizardmen uh, Laldora, because I thought it was funny at the time. Um, maybe it's not funny now, but I thought it was. 
found yet another sakura biome and to my surprise in this biome was a village and it was probably the nicest looking village i think i've ever seen in minecraft because this village looked amazing there was all kinds of different villages the sakura biome was right there and to add on to that there was a goblin village right here kind of wish i found this one first but it just doesn't really hit the same as much as my home there's even a graveyard as well but yeah it was a really nice village i also was a tad bit terrified of this siren here but it wasn't strong enough to take me down so honestly i feel like nothing could take me down at this point <clears throat> anyway i am came across this temple and luckily for me i had two skills in this place so i got water current control but then the serpent came back for more but luckily for me lightning was just super effective against the majority of these like sea creatures and what i thought was kind of cool is that me and the sea serpent kind of shared the same fighting style which is like a like a bouncy dolphin type of like attack style i then soon after killed the elder guardian and got water manipulation while i was one of my own business crafting i saw this huge shadow just like go across the ground which was one really cool but two absolutely terrifying there was a naga and what i didn't know about this naga was that um it shared a, a very similar ability to um to the dragon from earlier so yeah i reconnected and luckily the naga was still here and um it actually was a pretty simple kill because one lightning strike brought the naga down and one hit with my sword took him out so happy days i also found this dinosaur again which actually turned out to be a lizard so that was eye-opening i guess a pretty big lizard but it did so much damage to its hitbox from the front it was so massive but luckily from the back i could kind of reach it and do a bit of damage but i did nearly die because i was a bit dumb i also found another other welder and tried to take him down and actually got berserker from it which is basically like a like a strength increaser almost i also found another other welder but he didn't drop anything and i fought a spider after that but they also didn't drop a single thing so that was kind of disappointing but back on berserker when you activate that it gives you strength speed and a jump boost which is actually really really useful and i thought this other water was interesting because if you attack it it does damage back on you so i had to use lightning to take it down i also found another king and out of nowhere they were just on fire which was like, insane to me it was crazy i found a serpent and I, I killed it but it didn't drop anything again so i was once again kind of disappointed I headed back to the swamp area and I found this witch and upon taking the witch down I got magic sense which basically gave me like um night vision I believe. I finally got back to the village, said something Neko and tried to hit the sheets but um took that down but then um so yeah so I hit the sheets eventually though. I made some like sea serpent armor and whatnot which is by far the best armor I could have worn and luckily I think it was better than diamond as well. I then made some oracle ingots I believe it was pronounced but I didn't have enough magic ore to make two so I ended up just going to the mines to try to get some more diamonds, iron and magic ore and luckily it was a really successful session. I left the house, well said hi to Neko, then left the house and I saw these two villagers kind of just like staring at each other. It was like a like a like a showdown almost so I was kind of kind of interested but nothing happened. I upgraded my demon still sorted or Kilkum and there was like a three plus attack damage difference so it was it was an upgrade it wasn't huge but there was definitely an upgrade because i had a small attack from a bat and um yeah it was quite easy to take down not really a big deal and i upgraded my magic steel to demon steel and then to oracle can for a pickaxe i was out and about swimming for a bit and i realized i was getting chased by these like bubbles or something i have no idea where they came from but they were really quick but luckily due to my propulsion i could get away and it didn't do too much damage or bother me really at all but it was kind of weird after a while, I came across Shizui. If you don't know, it turns into Ifrit, and upon taking down Shizui in the mud, Ifrit does spawn. The fight, luckily, was way more on my home turf than it was his, since we did it in basically like this huge just pool of water, and I could use one pro uh, propulsion, I could water breathe, and basically everything was on my side. There were Nagas though, and they didn't come down too often to try and attack me, but the fight was by far I think the best boss fight I think I've ever had on Minecraft. It was so cool. We did like we had like similar moves, so he could dash forward with his fire attacks, I could dash forward with my propulsion, and I came close to half a heart. I think like four times. It was so so sick. It was so cool. Uh, the fight was so long. I ended up unlocking new moves during the fight. People came into the fight for some reason. This other water came out of nowhere to try and fight me, but eventually, after uh, outrunning some of his different moves, I hit one final shot on him ended up getting combustion and that was the fight ending. I didn't want to miss out on any moves so I ended up hitting Shizdi once and I got so many skills from this one move. It was so cool. 
But today I made a definite increase in my strength, which was just, it just felt good to see all these like different achievements and whatnot. And since this other world tried to join in the fight, I decided I'd just test my new moves on him. And um, yeah, I was pretty confident with my stuff. I, I was really, really happy. I came home to a sunburnt horse, said so. For some reason, I never realized that Cryptus's like cave thingy was right behind my village and I had no idea so I enchanted the wrong sword for one and I ran down to Cryptus's like lair almost I guess we'll call it and the call was down here and if you don't know to spawn Cryptus you either need to right click a villager or just place it down and, and a villager will walk onto it and I don't know why but I placed it in this house for some reason and out of all people Horace walked onto it and I was so upset that the Cryptus I was fighting was Horace but for some reason, the biggest problem I had was these Megalodons because Cryptus just wouldn't fight me. It was, it, he just kind of stood still and sent sharks at me, which I mean, technically it's, it, the fight was glitched, but I like to believe that they, Horus didn't want to fight me. That's that's what I like to believe. But it was, it, <laughs> the server couldn't run Cryptus, Cryptus didn't want to fight, and the Megalodons my biggest, biggest problem. But again, I just believe it was Horus. It took a while to clean the area of all these Megalodons since they kind of just kept spawning in tons so I couldn't take them down due to the lag. But once I did take them all down, I swam back to what's left of the village anyway and I found the Cryptus core on the floor and upon left clicking that, I got a bunch of more skills etc. So I, I was happy but I was at the same time just incredibly upset. All that was left of Horus was just this Tempest scale so I've, I've held on to that ever since. The village was in ruins, no villagers were alive apart from one, and of which that villager was, fortunately for us anyway, Jonel. I made a gravestone for Horus, as well as all the other villager bros, and um, to make things worse, a zombie apocalypse began. Um, so I had one last fight with the Iron Golem of the village, before I, um, I packed my bags, said goodbye to Jonel, and I headed on out. <laughs> At this point, I remember being actually unhappy. Um, everything I fought, I just like, I just wanted to kill so much. And fun fact, this dragon I just killed now, not only did I kill a dragon and lose no health, I got its dragon scale some more armor, and it was the dragon that was tormenting this village here. So I've saved a village that was already broken, but I couldn't save my own, which was kind of just depressing. I flew across to a mesa biome where I found just tons of orcs, honestly, and after a fly around, I ended up coming across one, this armor source that was really unhappy and fighting an orc, and then two, a dragon, which I actually was able to take down with quite a lot of ease, honestly, and then three, an orc lord. So that was yeah, quite quite the quite the arrangement. Now I've played this mod twice in the past, and the orc lord looks completely different to me like there's like new mobs being spawned i believe there are new moves as well and the orc disaster was way easier to spawn than last time and upon killing the orc disaster i got yet again just a ton of new skills and the demon lord steed i found this evil centipede which meant i could get some paralyzing breath which i don't think i ever used but it's good to have and then i went back to the spirit tree to go take on the labyrinth though this hallway looked completely new to me so i flew down the middle and I eventually came across the boss fight, who even, I believe, he looked brand new as well. And I think the, the area we were fighting looked brand new as well, I, I believe so anyway. But one thing to certain, this fight was way harder than last time for me, because the last time he died immediately. This time I actually had to use Berserk, and I had to like calculate and strategize everything I was going to do. But luckily for me, everything worked out well, and I took down the Spirit Protector. Now Valdora doesn't take the stairs, we can fly, so we flew up to the top. And um, I crouched at the very top to try to get a spirit. Um, I, I, I was crouched for quite a long time. Uh, turns out Veldora is not liked by any spirits. So that kind of that kind of sucked. I kept trying though, believe me. And um, yeah, I was not getting anywhere. So that was kind of depressing. Though the way out was like down. I, there was a door last time, but now you have to fall down to somewhere. So I did that and I started fighting just tons and tons of mobs since I didn't really know what to do at this point. I was so lost, in fact, I started picking flowers. Out of all people, Valdori, you know? Picking flowers, who'd have thought? I found these bees who, like, stung me, um, so I had to teach that bee a lesson, and um, I, I smited the hell out of it. And then these two bees decided to apologize, which I, I respected. I named them B and B2. And in that happiness, they, um, they made a child. So after a while, I came across this, like, what looked like a developing town, almost, which had, like, these slime statues or something. And um, it was new to me. I had a little look and there was like 
tons of different races all looking up into the sky. When I looked up, there was just a, a human with wings staring down. Are you serious?